Hello again, everybody. I am Jeff. Jeff opens cards. Another daily rewards claim for you all. Uh, recording this like four hours after the last one, so I probably look kind of the same. Uh, well, I should most days, but anyways. Uh, first off, another reminder, if you've got any SPS, or once you do, enter whatever tournaments you're eligible for uh, that make any sense for you. The vast, vast majority, the way things currently are, as long as you get at least one win, you won't lose money. Because uh, most tournaments have less entries, less people entering than there are payout spots. If you get zero wins, though, or you forget to switch your battles, you do not get your entry back. Uh, so let's quickly show you here the ones I'm in right now on my lowest account, my newest account. Um, but it is getting SPS, I'm already, or 10 dollars staked. I'm in it because this is the account I use for the bulk pack buy, which include 4,000 packs of tower defense, uh, which is giving me almost 400 SPS daily for that alone which is where most of my SPS discount has come from thus far. But uh, anyways, if you've got, for this one, 2,370 staked SPS, which at current SPS value is about $100, so I understand that's not going to be portable for everybody. I get it. I get it. Uh, but just bear with me for these examples real quick. 91 people entered. It's two SPS to enter if you're in leagues that are out of that without it costing you more. Um, although, was this gold foil only? I don't think so. But no legendary summoners, so uh, that's less cards you need to have to you know be competitive, which is good. It's modern only, so uh, promos, rewards, untamed, so on. But like, if you've got, on this account, I don't think I have anything other than Chaos Legion. I don't think. Like, I've got basically everything Chaos Legion and most of not everything for Rift Watchers, so I'm still probably ahead of most, but I, I don't have a kitty on this account. I don't have you on this account. And again, no legendary summers this one anyway. So, um, but yeah, uh, other than ghost cards, I don't have untamed cards on this account. So, anyways, 91 people entered, two SPS to enter. The top 128 get three SPS, which means, again, unless you go 0 and 11, at which point you aren't eligible for rewards, even if you submit the battles. I know, I went 0 and 11 to League of Champions, my main account recently, did not get the entry fee back. It was sad. I got 101st out of like 105 or something. Uh, I mean, I tied for last, so, you know. But anyways, if you get one win out of 11, you are guaranteed to profit at least one SPS. If you get 64th, or better, 7 SPS, a 5 SPS profit. And 64 out of 91, that, that's less, that's more than the top two-thirds. So, again, obviously it won't be everybody, but plenty. How did I do in this one? I went 6 and 5, did not make day 2, I'm in rank 39th, so I'm in that bracket of 7 SPS, I'll make five SPS profit from this. Like it does, it it adds up. I mean, five SPS is like twenty one cents right now, but it adds up and lets you progress, get more SPS stake, be able to enter higher rewarding tournaments as well. Uh, I got three to go through here as quick as I can. So I think that was the top one here. So next one, this one is gold foil only. I did make day two. I just submitted those and uh, I got bodied day two. It's kind of destroyed my life with tournaments. Uh, although I still have four opponents not yet submitted. Uh, but you can see here, uh, so day two, I, I won one, I lost five, I got four opponents, I'm still waiting on. So I'm at eight and eight, I'm at 33rd. Um, I'm going to finish at least here, get 15 SPS. It was five SPS to enter. I've still got a shot to go to 25 SPS. But I'll make either 10 or 20 SPS. That's either, what, 42 or 84 cents. Uh, this less than 2,000 SPS staked, so that's less than $100. Um, in order to be able to enter this, but again, this was gold foil only, but no legendaries, not just summoners. Again, gold cards only, but it's modern, so uh, there, there's no coral lurkers in this, uh, there, there's no uh, Grandmaster Wraith, etc. So, and you can quite possibly rent pretty cheaply for this is bronze, right? Yeah, so bronze league. So, one BCX gold foil cards, you can probably rent most of those, again, no legendaries. You can probably run a good number of those pretty darn cheap as well. Um, I didn't do the math in advance here, but it's possible. Do your own research. I don't know for sure. I'm just guessing, especially depending on the time of season it might be. Um, you might be able to rent like every Chaos Legion and Rift Watchers common, rare, epic, 1BCX gold foil. And as long as you don't go 111, you might still profit. It's possible. And if you don't, uh, from the tournament alone, well, you're going to get extra bonuses for rank battles while you have those cards run as well. So it can probably work out for you. Probably. Again, do your own research.
This was not research by myself in advance. I'm just making an educated guess that may or may not be true. If you do the math, please let us know in the comments to save a lot of people, uh, but they should still do the research. Uh, this one I just submitted right before recording this video. Eight and one, eight and one. That, that obviously won't be everybody. It's one of my better ones, obviously. I'm currently in ninth. I'll probably make day two. I've got two opponents not submitted yet, but I'm, I'm top 25 advanced. I'm gonna make day two. So let's take a deeper look. 188 entered this one, uh, 256 payout. So again, if you go one in 10, get at least one win, you will not lose money. You will get your SPS back. This is Chaos Agent and Rift Watchers only. No legendary summoners. You can still use legendary monsters. Uh, but this one only needs 379 SPS staked. 379, I think, is at 4.042, uh, 4.2 cents. That's $16 of SPS. $16. Again, I understand if not everyone can afford that, uh, but this is one of the cheapest turns to be eligible for. Uh, and you only need 2,300 power. And if you get at least one win, you won't lose money. Top 128 paid out for this one. So I'm going to guess if you go, if you had four and seven-ish, you're probably profiting. Again, like you're not going to, going to, Get rich overnight on these turbines, but like, enters and turbines. They're fun. Uh, apparently, there might be some bot services that are in there. The ones I use don't. I'm manually doing all my all my event battles. That's one reason that I use bots in ranked is that it gives me extra time where I feel like I can do these. Um, so always, if you if you don't have a bot, like you can make the argument like, well, I could enter this tournament and let's say I get 64 to make four SPS. Well, if I spent that time playing rank battles instead, depending where you are on the rank grind, you might make more profit faster doing extra rank battles instead of tournaments. That's an argument to be made. Uh, but if you've got SPS staked already, like you already have the cards you're using to play, use them for tournaments too. It's just going to expedite your gains. That's all I'm saying. I'm seven minutes in. Let's crack some chess, shall we? I grinded this account before the turnover. There's one chest that, that I, I think I won like six games with 15 minutes to go to earn this chest. Was it worth it? It's an Ever Hungry Skull Common. But hey, it's a card. And that's a tick for the guild uh, for a daily quest completed. So hey, it's all good. It's all good. Let's go on to Milo's account. He's, he's chilling down there. Um, there he is. He's, he's probably looking at Yoden again, you know. Him, him and Yoden, they've got some beef, but, you know, he's, he's kind of playing my decisions of bringing Yoden into his household, I guess. But, oh well. They'll, they'll, they'll learn to get along. They'll learn. They'll learn. Milo Cat, what'd you get? What'd you get? Come on now. Come on now. Ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Dark Dragonite. Fire is our thing. Almost had two silver chests already. My, ooh, Milo Cat is on a tear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven game win streak. We looked four hours ago. The win streak, max streak, was two. Now it's, yes, seven. 24 out of 52. Moving up, though. Moving up. Coming back. How many chests did you get? You got yourself three silvers. 1.112 SPS. Gargoyle Lion and two potions. Not too shabby for just three chests. And looks like... He will earn more chests tomorrow. He's almost got two already with 21 hours to go. On to the wife's account. Two-thirds wizard. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Is she on a win streak? Can she beat Milo's rewards one time? Uh, silver one, so higher on the ladder. Lost the last two. One, two. Lost five. One, one. Lost five. I think started a little bit higher. 15 wins and 27 losses. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still not, not great. But I didn't do any reallocating of resources, cards, whatever yet. So uh, two gold chests. Be silver chests tomorrow, though. Can two gold chests beat Milo's three silver? Got some merits, which is, it's hard to quantify, like, the value. Uh, but that's a pretty strong amount of merits uh, for gold, I'm pretty sure. And a vampire bat. Uh, so 320 merits versus what was it? 1.111. Sorry, 1.112 SPS uh, and two potions. They both got a common. So now let me know. Who, who did better this time, Milo Cat or the wife? Let me know. Let me know. Basically, do you value 320 merits more than one SPS and two potions? Depends who you ask. 
I'm asking you. Uh, next up is the main primary alt plumber's quack. What we got? What we got? Earning gold chests for still in gold. Might have been. What was this count in silver one when we last looked? I don't know, but uh, won the last two, lost two, won one, lost three. And somewhere in here is where we last looked. Because uh, again, I recorded the previous one of these like four hours ago. So, ooh, 0.351. So upwards of a third ish of an SPS per win. Uh, 20 wins, 22 losses. So about 50 50. About. Got six silver chests, so it was silver, uh, but gold chests will be the next time. We've got three potions. Ever Hungry Skull, three more potions. 0, 0.0 for one SPS, 0, 0.0 for two SPS, and 0, 0.0 for an SPS. Quite possible Milo and the wife both beat this account. Uh, and this account had the most chests. Uh, but the wife's account did have, have gold, and this one had silver, so. You know. Anyways, on to the primary, which has been doing some work. So definitely not trying to downplay um, Archmage Bot on the prior accounts, which aren't faring great yet. Like I said, I think I took some cards away and renting more cards at the end of the season. I haven't, like, recalibrated. So um, I, I can't say for sure, but I think that's at least part of it. Uh, this count, this count's still at uh, full strength. And, oh, we're going to get a bonus battle for you guys. How about that? Those could be fun. Those could be fun. Uh, look back probably a week or so ago now. Uh, the one that has the title is about 11%. I like those odds. It's got something like that in the title. Check out that video. That was a good time for that bonus battle. Uh, hopefully this comes in pretty quick. Pretty quick. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's let's look at Milo again because, you know, he's a handsome boy. Look at look at this kid. Look at this kid. Look at that guy. He's, he's snoring now. He's snoring. He's, he, he can't be bothered to help us with our openings here. He cannot be bothered right now. He's a handsome boy. He's a handsome boy. So our point, taking all the time on this one, looks like. Uh, may, maybe maybe it's Tales of the Crypt Mancer, Sinister. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, oh, the opponent wasn't even found yet at that point. So I think even if I did submit a team man right now, I think it still, like, gets chumped by whatever the bot picks. Because I think the bot's, like, that. Because I, I know Tales of the Crypt Mancer, um, off of the words of Darkest Night, on an after sound stream, if I remember correctly. Um, strategy there is uh, when you're manually doing ranked, not using a bot, submit with as little time left on the countdown clock as possible because uh, there, there may, it's, it's all conspiracy, tin hat theories, I don't know. Uh, Archmage bot does not seem to be this way, but there may be some bots that submit at the very, very end or as close to the end as possible. And in doing so, there might be a way that some bots are able to like scrape the data and figure out who they're facing and what they submitted. Maybe, maybe. Um, they, 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 uh, Darkest Night, Tales of Answer, et cetera, uh, they, they seem to think, I, I don't know if they have like official data they've tracked or not, but um, they, they, they feel like they win at a higher rate uh, if they submit late in the clock. So that certain bots may have less chance to basically counter them. It's a theory. I don't know. But let's check out this bonus battle with the new summoner, Lux Vega, in our corner. Looks like it must be a pretty low mana match. Our highest mana card is uh, Supply Runner at 6. Uh, the rest are 4-4-2-2-4. Four, four, two, two, and four. Uh, They've got Chris Winnicu. It's a 6. Is this a Blast Rule set by chance? Let's just crumble and see how it goes. Uh, looks like it's a Poison Rule set for one. Poison and Snipe. Poison and Snipe. I could have told you that based on looking at the abilities. Who you guys got? Who you got? Shout it out. Shout it out. We took down one. Uh, but it's got redemption. So there goes all of our armor, unfortunately. I think we're going to take out the Revealer next. We've only got the one guy that's melee. So their thorn's not going to be too much of a worry for us. So that's nice. Uh, and, and our Antoid Platoon got cleansed as well. Uh, While well, they've got the immunity on the one, well, he gone now. He gone. So they're down two. We're down one. They're down three. There's another redemption, but this will be interesting. This will be interesting. There's the thorns. Now that heal could be a nuisance, but as I say that, 
He gets the affliction. And there's the poison going around the horn one more time. I think we're taking this one down. I think we're taking down... What's that say? Brickanok? Brickanok? Yeah, I don't know how they win at this point. And there's an affliction just, just because. Uh, there we lose a couple more monsters. Uh, but... Well, we, we do only have one attack uh, for the magic there, but it's going to be too little too late. And down goes their Dr. Blight. And Lux Vega gets us another victory. You love to see it. You love to see it. Plus 20, 3405 rating, 45,000 RP earned, 4.582 SPS with a cap rate of 57%. Uh, let's see what we had. 15% for win streak, 60% for gold cards. I got a good amount of gold cards this count. 20% for Alpha Slash Promo. Oh, that's the other thing I, that I didn't even realize till this moment. Lux Vega's a promo card, as is Dr. Blight. They are both used. I believe that is the two cards for Alpha Slash Promo Card bonuses. Uh, so that's why Dr. Blight and Lux Vega are that much more powerful as Gold Foil, too. Because they're giving you a 10% bonus twice. So if you're using either of those in Gold, is 20%. If you use a Gold Lux Vega with a Gold Dr. Blight, you have a 40% bonus on rewards just from those two cards alone. And then we got 7% from our guild as well. Phew. Oh, hey. Advanced to Diamond 1. Good timing. Good timing. So the bot is back in a Diamond 1 already. 13 plus days left in the season. Already got 12 end of season champ chests. Three diamond chests for tomorrow's opening. Uh, we've got four straight wins. Two with Lux Vega. Doing some work. Wow. Three straight with Bright and Bloom. Earthquake, Earthquake, not Earthquake, but two Earthquakes in a row, three Blooms in a row, including beating Kitty. It was level three Kitty, but still. Uh, and we actually beat a Lux Vega here as well. Anyways, this is this is like my like, longest dealer words claim ever. I hope you guys aren't pissed at me. It, if you don't like the extra stuff, let me know. Give me the feedback. Good, bad, and different. I don't know if you guys don't tell me. Uh, I'm just doing my best to have a good time and make it, you know, just break it up a little bit as far as like not just being like chest boom done chest boom done uh, I, i'm trying to make each one different in some way i feel like it's gonna get repetitive sooner or later but i don't know so far i've had reason so, something different happens each time where i have something like unique to put in the title that isn't like a lie of clickbait or whatever you want to say i think but any feedback is always welcome but let's look at these last 12 chests these diamond chests uh, but it's not over if we get a pack. So we get a pack. We're going to open it if I don't forget like I did on the end of season chest. Check that video if you didn't already. But we've got Murd Hamp here. Two and a half SPS. 24 potions. Blood maker. 3.192 SPS. Golden Pelacor Deceiver. But the gold is not deceptive. It is gold. Trust me. It's gold. Uh, Venari Heat Smith. Venari Seed Smith. 22 more potions. Rare Volguin. A Vampire Bat. And Gargoyle Lion. So a lot of cards in the Diamond Chest. A couple of SPS chests that are they're okay. Uh, we're earning more than that uh, on rank right now. Uh, while I, th I thought it was supposed to be like more consistent season round for what you get from ranked. Uh, it seems like day two, day three, the SPS is higher than you know late season especially. Uh, so four and a half. 4.4, 3 3.1, 3. So we're getting between 3 and 4.5 SPS per win right now. 57% uh, capture rate. Uh, but again, I, I've got gold foils and stuff, so like that, that helps balance it out as well. The, uh, this battle was all gold foils. This was all gold foils but Lux Vega, but she gets us the bonus for being a promo. Dr. Blight promo and gold foil bonus. So you get the idea. But I think that's it. Uh, 19 minutes going on 20. If you stuck it through, I appreciate you so much. Again, any feedback, good, bad, and different, always welcome. If you am doing something you hate, please let me know. If you do, if I'm doing something you particularly like, let me know so I don't stop doing it. Your feedback will help guide the content to try to give you guys what you enjoy the most. And I'll do my best to keep giving it to you and having a good time in the process. So, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if not already. Rock smash the like button. Check the links down below in the video description, like for my Discord. And I'll see you next time whenever and wherever. That may be. See ya.